Robert John Meehan stated, every child has a different learning style and pace. Each child is unique, not only capable of learning, but also capable of succeeding. Learning progressions serve as the tool to create the path for success, which ensures that each child learns at their own pace and is able to be successful. Learning progressions create a path towards learning goals for students. On that path are specific details that teachers and students are able to use to identify where exactly they are on that path towards their goal. The placement of students on the path helps teachers identify what instructional actions need to be taken to guide students and what tools could be used to support them. In today's modules, we are going to accomplish two things. Collect data from students about where they fall on the learning progression, as well as how teachers can organize students into groups for focused instruction. So let's begin. The first step is to create a learning progression. Since you learned how to do that in the previous module, take time to pause this video and locate it. If you haven't created one, please do so now. Once you have your learning progression ready, you are now able to use it to collect data from students. You want to know where your students fall on the progression so that you are able to correctly group them. The digital tool makes this data collection easy and effective, and it's called Formative. Please feel free to work along with me as we explore how to use Formative to gather data and group students for a true personalized learning experience. In order to follow along with me, please go to the File tab at the top of your screen and select Open New Tab or Open New Window. Are you ready? Let's go! To begin, you need to first log into Formative by going to GoFormative.com. Take a minute to pause this video to log in and locate your dashboard. First, we want to create a new assignment by selecting New Assignment. It first asks you to title your question. So today's question is going to be, what is your understanding of learning progressions? I now am able to either add a multiple choice, show your work, short answer, or true false question. Today I'm going to select show your work because what I've done is I've taken a screenshot of my learning progression. So that saves as an image. So I'm going to insert my image into formative. So I'm going to type my question, which is the directions for students. So I'm going to tell them to circle on the image below where they feel that they are in relation to understanding learning progressions. I now have come to the point where I need to put my image in here. So instantly, as soon as I click on the image, it opens my desktop drive. Now screenshots automatically save to your desktop and you are able to take a screenshot by doing shift command 3 if you would like your entire screen taken or if you would like to take a specific section of your screen you will do shift command 4 highlight what you want to um, take a picture of and then that will save it as a screenshot. So over here this is an example of what is going to appear below. So I'm going to select that. And as it's waiting to load, you can see that it appears below here. Now, this is an example of exactly what students will see on their canvas. So this page is called a canvas. And when students open formative, this is what they will see. And they will be able to use these tools to circle or highlight where they fall on this learning progression, which will give you an understanding of where they are and how to group them. Take a minute to pause this video to create a new assignment. Please add your learning progression to the question and provide directions for students to follow. When you have completed this, come back to the video and select play to continue.
When your question looks the way that you want it to appear to students, you can preview what it will look like if you would like by selecting preview. So this is what it will look like for students when they log in. If this is okay with you and you're ready to assign this to students, you simply click assign. Now when you assign, you have two options. You can assign this to everyone, which is public access. It will give you a quick code that you can give to students to use, a link that you could send to students, or you could post this directly to your Google Classroom. Or you could select specific classes that you have created previously informative uh, and assign it to just specific courses. So once it's ready to go and you have assigned, all you have to do is give the students the link that you want or the code and they will log in. Once they start to log in and start to respond, all you have to do is select live results and they will appear. Before we move on to looking at the live results, take a minute to pause this video to assign the question that you created to your students. When you are finished and ready to move on, come back to this video and select play to continue. Now that you have already created a question and assigned it to students, you are able to view the live results. In order to view the live results, you must click on live results. You have a couple different options of how you would like to view student score reports. You can view them by their first or last name, the score in which they scored themselves, or the last response. Today we're going to look at how they scored themselves. So simply by looking at their scores, you can group all of the ones together, all of the twos together, and so on and so on. Obviously, this is a self-reflection on the student's part, so teacher judgment here also plays a huge role. If you and the student differ, take time to talk with them about why they chose that place on the progression. Come to a conclusion together about where they should begin. This will not only empower the student, but it will ensure that the student is in the right spot to begin learning. As we bring this module to a close, let's think about that learning progressions are a path towards success. Creating a progression that guides students towards their goal allows you to get live results by using formative. Using those results to create groups based on scores will allow students and teachers to have individualized instruction. And always remember that if a student and teacher differs in their opinion of where they fall on the progression, you need to conference and decide together.